Değerli izleyiciler, Didi Drogba ile birlikteyiz. Big Legend'ın ikinci bölümünde. Welcome again Didi. Thank you. Firstly, congratulations. You joined for the third time to the World Cup in Brazil 2014. What do you say about that? How are your feelings? Ah, uh, it's. Uh, I think we we made this story already uh, with Ivory Coast national team going to the first World Cup, and uh, now it's going to be the third time for a small country like like Ivory Coast to qualify for for the World Cup, three con- consecutive times. Uh, it's a big achievement for for us, and uh, to go to Brazil, I think is. It's gonna, it's gonna be something, something great for for us. And what will you say about the group <coughs> stage uh, after the draw? You are in the same group with Colombia, Greece, and Japan. Well, everybody says it's a, it's a good group, but uh, it's a difficult one because Colombia is is doing really good. Uh, they did very well uh, uh, in the qualifications, and uh, in the last two or three years, they are they are doing great as well. So it's going to be very difficult and Japan Japan beat Belgium in a friendly game but Japan is and Belgium is is said to be one of the best team in in, in Europe at the at the moment so it's not going to be easy but of course it's better than the the first two uh, big competition that we were involved in where we had Brazil, Portugal, uh, Holland and and Argentina so it's better than the first two but not easy. And I will also ask uh, Nelson Mandela. Uh, really, he was a big leader uh, for the people all over the world. And uh, I know you are sad now. Uh, what do you say about him? No, I think um, uh, it's a big loss for, for, for the world. Uh, not because of... Uh, not because of the fact that he's African, but because of the fact that he changed the, the history of the world. You know, uh, uh, to, to, to be able to, to bring two people who were like divided, to be able to unite them and, and, and to make them live together is something big, is something strong. It's a strong message for, for, the, for the youth, it's a strong message for for people all around the world that uh, the world is better when you are united the world is better when when there's no fight when there's no war when there's no there's no death and uh, uh, I think he did he did uh, his time he did great he inspired so many inspired so many people like me and and and, and a lot of of other people and uh, for the humanity maybe yeah because he was very humble you know uh you know for somebody somebody who has been in jail for for more than 20 years uh to come out to be elected presi- president so to have the power to decide what he want to do if he wants to do some revenge or something like this no instead of this he tried to unite all the people who who were persecuting him it took them with him to say, okay, the past is the past, and now we have to move on. Now the future, we have to be together, and and this is what really in, uh, inspired me. And and uh, and uh, he, he was a great man, and I was lucky to I'm lucky to 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 know his family, to be close to the family, and uh, and to to have met him, and uh, you know he. he I spoke to him uh, a few times, but uh, uh, you know, he said one thing to me one day, and and really for me it was, uh, it meant it meant a lot for for me, you know. So, but it's personal. So, but I, 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 great man. And uh, as you said, you met him for a few times before. And uh, you are also a leader and uh, a hero for your country. It's true. And uh, did you learn anything from himself? Uh, does some of him, his specialties affect you? No, I, I said that uh, people like him, you can only follow him. You can only want to follow him. You can only want to, to be like him. Uh, you can only want to help him because 
uh, it's going to be very difficult to be like him, but it's possible to, to help him, you know, the, the, to help the work. He, he started already uh, more than uh, 20 years ago. Uh, we are like uh, uh, trying to learn from him and to, to apply what we learned in, 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 in my country, in different country and different people see him as an example, you know, and, and you know, we are, we, are, we are lucky to have someone like him. And, and of course, there's many more. There's many more all around the world, all the Nobel Prizes, uh, everywhere in the world. But for, for Africans, you know, it means, it means a lot to have a, a man like him uh, uh, to show the direction of what, should, what the future should be. It means a lot. Especially in the last days, uh, <coughs> they're speculated by the media. I, I know that it's not sure, it's not uh, right. But I will ask it uh, for the fans uh, that you are not happy in that club, uh, that you will go to another where uh, after your contract expires in the last of the season. Uh, what do you say about that? Will you, will you give some message to the fans? I'm not happy because we don't have results. Uh, you, you, I think it's difficult for for a man, for a player, to be happy when the team is not is not winning, is not playing the way the way we want to play. When the team is with 11 players against 10 in Madrid, 1-1, and then we lose we lose 4-1. Yes, I'm not happy, but it doesn't mean that I want to go. It doesn't mean that I want to go. I want to win games. I want I want the the fans to be happy because now we can see uh, when we're playing, the stadium is not full. Uh, we need we need the support. We need the support to change this. I know it's not easy. I know we haven't played our best football in the last few weeks, uh, but we need them. We need them, and and I'm here. I'm here, and uh, I want to play well. I want to win the games. Uh, But it's a difficult moment. But now everybody is complaining. But uh, the day we start winning, everybody will forget this. It's football. It's like this. And I've seen it many times in many countries. So uh, there's nothing new. It's a difficult moment. We have to try to be together. The most important thing is to stick together, you know, as a team, as a unit, as a club, because we have one identity and, and it's Galatasaray. And that's, that's why we're playing all together. I don't know if it's uh, early to speak for that or not, but uh, <coughs> in the end of the season, your contract expires and all the fans, all the club, everyone, the personnel uh, want to be with you going or going on. Uh, do you have any opinion about next season? It's too early to, to speak mm -hmm. about next season, but uh, all, all I want to say is that uh, uh, first thing, uh, I'm not going anywhere in, in January. So, because as I said before, even when I was in Chelsea, I want to go until the end of my contract and I will go until the end of my contract uh, if the club wants me to. That's the first, the first option. I'm going to go until the end of my contract because when I sign something, I want to, to respect my... Uh, I want to be loyal until the end. So that's the, the, the first thing. And, uh, and uh, there's still six months to go to try to find a solution and 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 uh, and 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 make everybody happy uh what i want to say is that uh, uh i'm 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 thankful to to galatasaray because uh they gave me the chance to 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 play again at high level so i am very happy despite only the fact that we are not winning at the moment and It's it's a difficult moment, but I am happy. Also, then uh, there is an, another thing I will have to ask that uh, there is uh, written by the press that uh, there are problems in the teams between the players like that. Uh, what do you say about this? There is problems everywhere when you don't win in any teams. It's normal, you say. It's normal. It's normal. It's normal. Uh, It's not a long-term problem. I think it's normal <coughs> because of the results. Maybe. Wait, and when we start winning uh, four, five, six consecutive, consecutive games, uh, there won't be problems anymore. But there's problems in between the fans as well because some of them are not coming to the stadium. But if we start winning, 
they will come again. It's football. It's football. It's life. One day is a difficult moment. Um, it's difficult to, to stay positive. It's more difficult to stay positive when you have uh, difficult moments. But when everything is, is nice, it's easier to, to, to forget the problems. So, yes, there is problems, but there are normal problems like in every team. Uh, we, we, we only want to win our games like until the end of the season, uh, the, the year. We want to finish with um, only wins and, and start the, the new year with, uh, with um, an, another spirit. Now there is a very important game against Juventus, mm -hmm. and if we win this game, we will be go to the next round in the Champions League. What do you will say about that game? <coughs> I think it's the game of the season because this game can uh, uh, decide what we're going to do uh, next season. I mean, next 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 mm -hmm. year in 2014. Uh, I think it's the game of the season because. Uh, the club needs to be in the Champions League in the, in the last 16 Champions League. Uh, the players need need to be in the in the last 16 because we we want to improve as players and as a group together, and uh, it's very important for for us uh, to to beat Juventus. So we will need the, cl the the fan support uh, until the end of the game. It's not going to be easy because Juventus is still Juventus. Uh, they are a great team and they're even playing better now. They had a difficult moment, but now they're playing better, so it's going to be more difficult. But with the fans and with uh, our spirit, and I think we can, we can beat them. We can beat them. It's going to be difficult, but we can be, beat them. We have to believe that it's possible. And, and, and then uh, I hope that uh, may God, God uh, help us. Uh, from last year, with your transfer to this club, we saw and observed that you used to be this culture, uh, to the culture of the team, to, of the club. And uh, you learned many things of the history of the team, I know that. And uh, you made a research maybe about this culture. Uh, is that your character or is it your principle? Uh, I, am, I, am, uh, I am lucky to play, to play football. And uh, if you if you know a little bit my my history, you will you will know that um, everywhere I was, and for me to play well, I needed the the, the confidence, the trust of my teammates, the trust of my of my managers, and and when I have this, everything is possible. You know, I can. Uh, I can do I can do everything, everything and make history because uh, when you start winning, you win one time, you want to win again. You know when you taste the the the, uh, the victory, you want you want it to happen again. So I think I I grew up and I and I develop all these aspects and and now it's something that uh, I have in me and 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 I don't want to change it because this is what makes me uh, the player I am now. It's still in our minds, uh, your celebration after you scored against Antalya Sport. Uh, you bring your hand to your heart, like Metin Oktay. And uh, what did you feel during the time? Uh, why did you celebrate like Metin Oktay? What, what did you say about that? Because it was, it was a special day um, for, for the club. And Metin Oktay is the, the, the most popular player of the history of the club. Uh, he's a legend here, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the the training ground has been named Metinoktai, You know, so uh, I always try to to look the, the the best of one club and to try to to get uh, close to 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 their performances. And it's very difficult because he was such a player. And yes, I, I I learned about about him. I learned about his history with the club, and and uh, the respect he has here is something unbelievable. And and I hope that uh, one day I'll be even one percent for me would be enough already. So 
when I did that, it was to 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 say to the to to pay tribute to him and to what he did for the club because maybe without him, without what he did for the club, maybe I won't be here. You know, so I respect all these details which are very important for me and and uh, and for the club. My last two questions: uh, Training methods are really important, uh, and I know that uh, you worked in a different methods when you were in Champions League uh, with Chelsea, especially, we can say that. And uh, when we look to the past, uh, we can see that, especially in the second half of the league, uh, you are getting better and better. And uh, you reach the title at the end of the season. I think it can't be a chance. Uh, what do you will say about that? And do you think in the second half of the league, in Turkish league, we will go uh, to the top? I think it's, it's important to prepare well. You know, because um, the end of the season, the second part of the season is the most important one, where you cannot afford to lose points, you cannot afford to lose a game, uh, because every point you you take, they 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 bring you closer to your dream, to your titles. So we are we are losing points now. I would not say it's not important because it's very important, uh, but I think if we win the next league games until the end of the season or the, the the year we can still believe in the title but for now we have to go step by step game after game game by game and and uh, the next one is going to be this weekend so we have to win it and in the champions league i hope that we we beat juventus tomorrow and then we can still have a chance to 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 improve uh the image of the club on the European scene. And lastly, uh, Jose Mourinho, in the last days, uh, in English press I saw that, uh, <coughs> motivated his players uh, like as a sentence. He says, you have to be strong as Didier Drogba is. What do you say about that? He's motivating his players like yeah. that. Uh, I think it's easy for, for, for all the players he has now because uh, most of them, they know me, and and uh, uh, my mantle is is the is my biz biggest strength, um, because I never give up. I never give up, and and the more you challenge me, the more I try to respond to the challenge, uh, because uh, this is what football is about and this is what life is about and uh, yes he was he was challenging me like putting me under pressure but pressure is something you have to you have to deal with pressure is something you have to to enjoy when you play football you don't play football to to win all your games 5-0 5-0 it can happen once you'll be very happy but if it happens every weekend you you get bored so it's in a difficult moment that we see that the, the, the best, the strong mind, the strong mentalities uh, emerge. So uh, now we are in a difficult moment, so I'm trying my best to help the team. So for me, like I was saying a few days ago, scoring is nice, it's important, but creating assists is also important, like this weekend, like I'm doing the last three, uh, three games. Uh, maybe I cannot score every time. I create the chances, but I don't score. It's not a problem. The most, for me, the most important is that the team wins. With my goal, or with Burak's goal, or with Umut's goal, or with everybody else's goal. So, the most important is this. But mentally, we have to be better. We have to be stronger all together, and and make one. You know. Many thanks. Thank you.